Next question. This one's for Nairi. Uh, do you have any tips on how to leave behind a toxic relationship or toxic friendship? Yes. So a couple of things that are really important to realize about toxic friendships or toxic relationships is that, you know, you have the right to either be a part of it or not be a part of it. So if you choose to be a part of that dynamic, that is your choice. You have the right to choose that, but you also have the right to leave that dynamic behind. You are a sovereign being and you should have the kinds of relationships that you actually like that nurture you as a person, that help you also grow. So I want to make a differentiation between a toxic friendship and a growth friendship. A growth friendship is something where the person challenges you to grow as a person. You don't always agree with everything, but you also understand that there's a good sense of goodwill and care for one another. Whereas toxic relationships are about power games, you know, you come together and, and you can feel that the other person wants to have one over you or you don't ever feel safe in those toxic friendships or relationships. And that's where you know that it's not a growth relationship because the intent for the relationship is about power, not about growth. So how you can leave toxic friendships behind? So there's a couple of different ways. So you can just rip them out of your life. You can say, look, I can't stand you. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to do this anymore. Please don't contact me again. That's one end of the stick. Another end of the stick is to say, not say anything and just kind of start ghosting the person. So just start not communicating with them, not getting back to them, not engaging with them. Neither one of those is, is particularly, um, it's not a particularly, I was going to say evolved, but that's not actually true. Neither one of those is, while they are valid, and if that's what you can, that's, if that, those are the things, the only things you can do with those things, then by all means, do those things to preserve yourself. Absolutely. But they're not a growth space. So they're a very defensive space. So with a growth way of dealing with toxic friendship would be to take ownership of what you bring into that toxicity. So ask, how do I contribute to these power games? And, and then say to your friend, hey, I've realized that our relationship is based on, or this is the sense that I'm getting, I'm getting a sense that I'm having to compete with you a lot of the time or compete for your, with other people for your attention and so on. Um, can we have a really frank conversation about, you know, the, the dynamics that are in our relationships? or in our relationship. So they may not may or may not be able to do that, or you may or may not be able to do that. But at least if you do do that, if you're in a space of growth, you can go and you can do that. And you can actually find out that they might have had an insecurity about something that you weren't aware of, or you might have had an inse insecurity about something that you weren't aware of, and they weren't aware of, and that was contributing to the toxicity of the relationship. So you really need to kind of decide which tack you're going to take, which approach you're going to take when you're approaching this situation. You know, do you have to protect yourself from them? If you do, then by all means, you know, end the relationship or, or just not engage with it. But if you feel like you're in a more growth space, just say to them, hey, you know, I really value you as a person, I'd like to keep you in my life, but our relationship just feels, the, the dynamic of our relationship feels really complicated and I, I'm not sure why, would you be open to talking about it? So, Nari, I hope that helps. Um, you do what's right for you, uh, where you are, the resources you have in your life right now to, to go ahead and deal with that. So, yeah, let me know if that was helpful and if anything else came up from that that you uh, needed to look at.